I very much appreciate you being here today. We're going to be mixing things up a little bit, so it'll be you and your associate. Mm -hmm. So if you don't mind taking a quick moment to introduce yourself mm -hmm. and what you do with Benet. Okay, so my name is Ari Travkov. Uh, I'm a co-founder at Benet Medical. Uh, previously, I uh, worked for, for a railway company, for uh, yeah, a railway vehicles company uh, as a systems integrator. Uh, uh, but uh, together with my partner in the NEB, Juan, uh, we had a previous uh, interest in uh, entrepreneurship, and uh, well, we had we have had some uh, uh, ideas to, to 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 set up different companies in different industries, but no one of them uh, was uh, interesting enough. So to say, it was uh, five years ago when uh, we started talking and discussing about uh, a project uh, which was related to medical devices, to surgical robotics specifically, when we uh, felt that uh, it was worth to, to, to give it a try and say, okay, I'm leaving my job and uh, starting a new adventure. Uh, in, in the NEB. Understood. So it sounds to me that you had many avenues that you could have taken and you finally landed on the medical device side. What was that trigger or that catalyst that made you go 100% in? Well, from the very beginning we felt that um, the medtech industry uh, had a, a positive social impact uh, apart from the economical impact that can have, uh, but uh, there is a social side of uh, the medtech that was particular, particularly attractive for us. Then uh, the evolution forecasts uh, for the medtech industry, we, we believe that they are quite interesting. And third, I would say that from a systems integrator uh, point of view, uh, the medtech industry is quite uh, challenging uh, because uh, we felt uh, it could allow us to 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 further uh, to further um, develop ourselves uh, in in something that it is the integration of technological technologically complex systems uh, in another industry, not in the railway industry where we were working on, but in the medtech industry. So uh, it was very challenging from that point of view too. So it sounds like you like a challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think that we like challenge and that our project is quite ambitious and quite challenging, uh, both from the business point of view, but also uh, as well as from the uh, technology point of view. Who did you look for inspiration in your early career? So we didn't uh, need any external inspiration, but Juan and myself were inspiring ourselves, <laughs> each other, uh, uh, from the very beginning. We were coming, as I told you before, from the railway industry, so uh, we had quite a strong background uh, as uh, technology integrators, systems integrators, but we knew nothing about the medtech, and we uh, recognized that, and that's why from the very beginning we started uh, to contact uh, surgeons from different uh, surgical disciplines, uh, market players, relevant market players, and uh, asking them, okay, do you find this interesting? Do you find this, uh, do you think it adds some value to, 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 your, to your discipline? And most of times they were like, well, well, yeah, it's, it sounds okay, but what about if you could do this and this? So uh, uh, their feedback was positive in the in the in the sense that uh, they thought uh, lasers for minimally invasive surgery were not the best idea, but they were all, uh, always keen on telling us why don't you try with tissue identification? If you are using lasers and light sources, uh, maybe you can uh, you can add value by. Uh, making a tissue differentiating uh, device. And then we uh, went back to our office and said, okay, how could, do, could we do that? And uh, that's, uh, that's the inspiration that we have had uh, in, during the last five years from 2013 till today. And that inspiration came from the surgeons and the medtech industry players. 
I always say that the medical device industry is the best industry in the world, so welcome. Okay, thank you. You w reached out to your network or the medical device network mm -hmm. and they provided feedback, which is very common in our industry, not so common in other industries. Mm -hmm. Out of that pool of surgeons, clinicians, and other advisors, mm -hmm. have you pulled a specific mentor or a group of mentors who continue to guide you and your partner? So not yet, not yet. Uh, to be honest, uh, but it is something that it is in our roadmap and it is uh, one of our objectives for this year. So um, from the clinical point of view, we need to, to, to establish a clinical committee, let's say, uh, so key opinion leaders and the like uh, who can help us de develop the product development phase. Not, uh, we are at this moment in a prototype development test uh, but once uh, we have the safe and robust prototype at the end of this year, uh, we will uh, start with the product development phase. And uh, during that phase, we will for sure need uh, some clinical advice. And uh, to do that, we will need uh, a, a clinical committee. But we will also need a scientific committee, so a committee uh, who can give us advice in uh, so, so with regard to lasers, to re to, with regard to the technologies that we are integrating in our system so that it gives the functionality that we want to give to the, to the surgeon. And third, we also need to set up um, a business committee, let's say, so someone with the business background. Uh, and if uh, these people uh, come from the medtech industry, so it will be much better. <laughs> well, I wish you the best, and I have no doubt you're going to find that team this year. I'm extremely <laughs> confident. <Hopefully. laughs> what specifically about this technology made you realize we have something here? So uh, the story behind is the story of the evolution of an idea into another idea. So uh, the idea is a robotic device for uh, selective tissue ablation. Uh, all the technology behind our system uh, is based on light. So uh, lasers or other light sources that we emit uh, uh, to, the, to, the, to the tissues and then we analyze so the reflection, the absorption, so different parameters uh, in, the in the interaction uh, between the tissue and the light. And that's how we inferred uh, the, type of, the type of tissue that it is in front of the, of the system. But uh, as I told you before, so uh, it is the story of two guys that wanted to uh, set up a project in the medtech uh, in the medtech industry, but knew nothing about about this industry. So it's sort of the story of trial by fire. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Might be the best way to yeah. do it. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, it was a pleasure getting to know you, and I'm going to take a moment and meet your partner, Juan. So thank you very much for thank being you very here. Much. Yeah. Truly thank appreciate you. it. Will you take a moment and introduce yourself and your relationship with the NEB? Mm -hmm. Sure. I'm uh, Juan Arregui. I'm uh, co founder of the NEB Medical, as uh, Arit said. And uh, as I already told, uh, Aritza and myself do, uh, nearly, uh, do a lot of things in the net, especially management issues, uh, keep the team motivated and try to figure out uh, what the next step will be and where the problems will arise soon enough in order to find a so solution for that. Excellent. What was your number one priority when building your team initially? Mm -hmm. Well, our number one priority was to find people who were extremely, extremely motivated uh, with our project and also talented people that had a previous knowledge of the technologies that we intended to implement in our system. And additionally, it was very important to find people that would, be, would adapt uh, their uh, technological and their um, scientific skills to a startup uh, setup. It's quite specific. You have to uh, adapt to timings, you have to adapt to uh, budgetary limitations and therefore uh, it's, not it's not easy at all to find this type of, pe uh, of people but I think that we've done a very good job <laughs> up to now. I love that. So what was the last milestone that Deneb Medical achieved? Mm -hmm. Well we've been uh, capable of performing uh, in vivo craniotomies in mini pigs uh, that means that we are uh, capable of performing an automatized uh, process where the cobot, our system, uh, performs a hole in the head of the animal automatically uh, with a very, very reduced risk of uh, damaging the underlying dura matter. 
So this is our last uh, milestone. Now we are working on improving the system in order to perform laminectomies. And for this, uh, we have to uh, come up with, sol with solutions for different type of uh, problems, such as, for example, a situation where the patient is breathing in, in spine surgeries. So the system will have to adapt to the movement of the, of the patient, and that's a tricky point. So we're, we're there, and we will hopefully make it this year. Well, congratulations, and I have no doubt you're going to make it. <laughs> so what achievement would make you feel as though you have made it? I think that's a pretty difficult question to, to answer. We're already very happy uh, to be here today, uh, providing that we were um, inside the train uh, five years ago. Uh, I think that Aritz and, and I would be very happy if we saw this product approved by the FDA, which means that uh, this product has uh, an intrinsic interest, have a social impact, and have the, the potential economic impact in order to to have it, to be a success. So, okay. yeah, I think that would be very, very happy if we get the FDA approval. Not very long. Excellent. So then what are your priorities for 2018? Our priorities is, uh, are to, to be capable of performing laminectomies, I mean, uh, spine surgeries. And uh, at the moment, we have a first prototype of the system. Uh, a very important priority would be to make this system even, even safer than what, what it is at the, mo at the moment. And for this, we have to implement new technologies that we're working on at the moment. And these two things, I think, uh, would be uh, a good goal for this year. Because we think that if we make these two things, uh, we will have a good opportunity of getting an interested partner. Thank you very much, not just for being here, for you and your partner's uh, support of the medical device industry and helping improved patient care and a better quality of life. I wish you the absolute best. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.